All right, welcome in friends to another video. It's Thursday, February 3rd. Let's see where it goes. Um, I had some technical difficulties this morning, so I'm hoping that there is no hum like there was on yesterday's video and I don't have to do too much crazy editing. Um, sometimes you don't know where the hum comes from, this elusive hum. So I'm using a different microphone. Give me one second to make sure that I realized it was on the table and I started like banging on it and um, so yeah no we don't want that um, anyway yeah it's been almost two months of tarot videos and I just want to say thank you to anybody who's watched one or just some of them and if you're the couple of people who have watched every single video or you come back and you check them out whenever you have the time or the capacity, I appreciate you so much for the encouragement um, and just for watching me do something that I enjoy. So thanks for that. Um, you'll notice that the channel is changing a little bit. So um, I'm not going to move to a different channel. In fact, I'm only going to keep posting here and there'll be some new content as well so look out for that now we have dwellings upright interesting so again the same concept of dwelling is appearing uh, either a physical space a mental space the, your inner world but now it's in the upright so there's been some sort of corrective action since the last time we saw dwellings in reverse again elementals is now upright we had this one yesterday. Interesting. So the elements is all about the four elements. And if it's in reverse, like it was yesterday, there was something out of balance. So now there, someone here is, I think, understanding their power. Oh, look within in reverse. Someone in here, I think... There's still a little bit of self-doubt, uh, but and, and we have magician underneath. So I feel like someone here is having the experience of feeling powerful or feeling things sort of working, and it's almost like it's too good to be true. Did I create this, or is this just an accident, or what's happening? And I think that the this is the answers are within, the need to look within, as in, you are partially responsible for the reality that you've created. All right, let's see what the tarot says. Oh, two wanted to come out. The six of cups and the seven of swords. Oh, sorry, nine of cups and seven of swords. Huh. And I said that wrong again. I don't know why I'm flubbing up. Nine of cups, seven of wands. Someone's on the defensive here. Me? I didn't do that. Sort of like, now we have the empress. Page of cups. Hanged man. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Page of Wands, uh, Seven of Pentacles, and the Tower. Well, there's like a lot of good vibes in this. In this one, we have the Empress. Right, Mother Nature, also Queen of Pentacles, Nurture, Nature and Nurture. Hmm. Yeah, you can't, um, you can't deny that which is a part of you. That, I think is what leads to a tower moment, a sudden upheaval. 
you may choose, you may, you know, there's nature and nurture here. And I think that you're surprising yourself a little bit by your own capacity, your own capacity for, I don't know, um, I don't know. What I'm seeing is that there is, there's the, um, this feels very Destiny-esque, and I, I don't normally talk about stuff like that, but I can't help it. The Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands, it's almost like, um, the, a, a, a potential legacy but not even the potential because I, I think of the page of wands as like seeing the potential of something but the page of wands is also sort of like the first step in like this great adventure beginning on some sort of um destined path if you will and the empress is here just to say that this this is natural to you this is this feels natural to you. This legacy, this is something deep within you. So, because we have dwellings and also the Ten of Pentacles. This is why I'm getting that. It's almost like you're saying like, me, no, no. W what can I do to possibly change the outcome of this or that? I think that something will happen to you Again, today, soon, who knows? Oh, that's not really a timing card. Let's get a timing card. Ace of Cups. One month? This month? This month you might... Something might happen to you that... Or, or happen in your life that will show you... It's like a course correction or something. Or something will happen where that, yeah, you'll manifest something into existence and you'll be like, I did that? It's like too much of a coincidence or something. And this has to do with some, some of your, your innate abilities that have been sort of maybe dormant. Maybe something from your past, maybe, maybe like a hobby you used to like to do or just like a, an old group of friends like comes back around or you just start working on something. Maybe it's something you haven't thought about in a, in a while. Because I see you investing some time into a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You're like not really sure what to expect, but you're sort of putting your, your energy, in, you're nurturing something right now because we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles in the, in the present position. But there's also the Page of Cups, not really knowing what to expect. Uh, maybe some deep um, intuitive listening. If this resonates for you, then the, what you need to do is listen better, listen more closely. And if you don't, then, you know, there's always this tower moment that will show up, I think, within one month to show you something from your past that you can no longer ignore. This is your destiny. And so, yeah, let's go back to the energy underneath for a second because it's the Seven of Wands and the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is, uh, look at this. It's like me on my couch. Oh, I should put just like some cups way up here behind me. It is a cup. It is the wish fulfillment card, but it's also like content. I'm just fine where I am. And... In that sense, they're not really moving anywhere. They're just sort of like emotional contentment. This is right before the Ten of Cups. So you think you're content now, but there's still one more cup to grab. That's this Ace of Cups to true fulfillment, true happiness, true community. And so in that sense, you might think of the Nine of Cups as somebody who's just like, yeah, you don't even know how good you have it, how good it could be. 
and for some reason you're defensive of your position. So um, it's almost like you just got to keep going, keep digging, keep digging further and further into what may feel like an unknown, but your propensity to nurture this or to explore this is not, that, that sense is not incorrect. I think you should follow that sense. Because that's what it's, that's what look within is saying. In the reverse, to keep looking deeper within. Y'all, that was a short message. I could keep going, but I think I'll leave it there. I like these these quick and short little messages. If anything resonates for you, let me know in the comments below. Um, if this reading makes you think of anybody um, that you care about, please share this video with them. And um, yeah. If you like music, I like music. There's music in the description box below. And yeah, like I said, there'll be some changes to the channel. I just, I decided that instead of sort of spreading my efforts around, um, I'm just going to keep everything right here where it's at. I'll just do a little bit of rebranding and stuff. So do expect that, but just know that the content's just going to get better and there's probably going to be more of it. I'm just sort of uh, trying to get myself organized. But yeah, thanks for the support. Honestly, I hope that you are getting something out of this. Um, and it's my pleasure to do it. So cheers, have a good week, and I'll see you on the next one.